I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. Another clever new feature is a new way of creating subclips, and that goes hand in hand with a new feature we have for being able to remove subclip limits or change subclip limits. So let me show you how this works. First off, I'm going to go in here and add a bin. I'm going to call this logging. Because in this case I have an extremely long take and maybe I've decided to make the editor's life a little easier by creating some subclips. So I'm gonna set an in point. I'm gonna set an out point just to capture this one moment. And to create a subclip, now all I need to do, you used to have to right click create subclip, but now all I need to do is just drag a clip into the media pool and a subclip is automatically created for me. This is specifically when you drag a clip from the source viewer into the media pool. If you drag a clip from the timeline into the media pool, then what you're doing is you're basically creating a duplicate source clip. You're not creating a subclip, but in this case you are creating a subclip. So I can keep ripping along and say I want this moment to this moment, subclip, and let's say I want to go from here to here. These are the moments that I like in this clip, subclip. And now for each one of these clips, if I open it up, you'll see I have a shorter clip that simply consists of the media from the range that I selected. Much easier to browse, much easier to deal with if you're taking a look at the audio because you have a shorter range of audio, yada, yada, yada. So that's cool. And then let's just say I decide to drag all of these into a timeline. Maybe I'm making a, a selects reel. There I go. But then I decide, you know what, this clip isn't quite starting at the right time. Ordinarily, with subclips in previous versions of Resolve, I'd just be kind of doomed. But now what I can do is I can right-click and I can go up to the Edit Subclip command. That reveals an Edit Subclip window, and I can do a couple things. I can either edit the new subclip start or end. So maybe I want to roll back that by a minute. Maybe I'm just going to have it start at 52, and I'm going to save that. And now when I open this up into the source view, you can see I have a whole nother minute at the beginning there. If I decide that's too much, I can go back into Edit Subclip, and I can set that back to 03, and you can see that that extra time has gone away. Or, you probably already noticed it, if I go into Edit Subclip, I can just turn on Use Full Clip Extents and click Save. And now you can see I get all those extents back. That's really cool. You now have the option of either just blowing away the limitations of any given subclip or actually changing them, just so you can add a little bit more media into the subclip if you need to.